good afternoon and you find me begrudgingly driving to uh, the Nissan dealership to drop off my leaf so I can pick up uh, a hire car, courtesy car for the weekend. And the reason being, we're about to do a, um, it's about 215 mile trip this evening uh, from the south coast up to near Lincoln. The, it's a Friday afternoon um, and at the moment, uh, before we've even hit rush hour, it's showing it's a four and a half hour trip without any stops. Uh, if I went up in the leaf, uh, I've worked it out, I'd need three stops. You know, even best case scenario, it's only half an hour per stop, which it won't be, that's an hour and a half, but you could probably reckon more like two hours in addition to that trip. So uh, by the time we leave, it's probably gonna be best case scenario, six o'clock this evening. Um, we're looking at being there at nearly midnight. Now, probably wouldn't be an issue for a lot of families. Uh, all four of us are going up trouble is with my children is they absolutely point blank refuse to sleep in the car uh, and it doesn't matter what time of night it is uh, they get tired and tired groucher and groucher and it gets more and more difficult so I'm, I'm not prepared to put them and put us through that uh, and this is the reason why I've asked Nissan if I can borrow a car for the weekend uh, it it does go against the grain I'm, I'm really disappointed that I'm having to do it because uh, you know in my mind I should be able to live day to day every day without trouble with this car and um, yeah we've done the trip before in this car it's not a problem but we have had all day to do the journey so I'm now heading over to, to Nissan to swap the car if you've never done it before it is actually it's a really simple thing to do you um obviously give them plenty of warning and they will uh, I suppose it's one of their courtesy cars really uh, a nice car they'll let you borrow it for um, in my case and i think this is generally the case for everyone um, up to two weeks in every year so whether you do it odd days here and there or one two week trip um, you can borrow an ice car for them for up to that period for no extra charge um, you just do the usual show them your driving license etc so it's, it's a really sort of easy straightforward thing to do so I'm about uh, 20 minutes away from the dealership. Uh, I've no idea what car I'm gonna get. Uh, I, in the past, I've had um, a Note, I've had a Duke. Um, so we'll see what we get today. Generally, it's one of their smaller cars. Uh, I think they have more of those, or they, whether they tend to give you the smaller car to try and dissuade you from taking it, I don't know. But um, you know, a car's a car. I'm upset because I've got to put some petrol in it. It's gonna cost me a fortune in comparison. But um, hey, such is life, um, hopefully. The next EV I get that replaces this one, we won't even have to think about that. But um, yeah, I'll see you at the garage. And here we are, a Nissan Pulsar. Um, all nice leather, it's diesel, it's manual. Uh, bit of work to do this weekend with it. And a bit of a surreal experience in there. That's um, the first time I've ever met anyone who's um, subscribed to my channel, watched one of my videos. Um, very nice couple uh, in the dealership there. Uh, happened to say to the sales lady, oh, I recognize him from a YouTube video. Uh, and I had a lovely chat with them. Um, they've got a 30 kilowatt hour leaf. Uh, over the moon with it I uh, said so they've done about 4,000 miles and very very happy so I'm um, always nice to meet another happy leaf owner uh, of which I think that pretty much covers the majority so um anyway yeah I've got this car I'm gonna head home now and pick up uh, everybody try and get it loaded and try and get on the road at a reasonable time I think it's gonna be a McDonald's dinner en route tonight just so that we can get going and get some miles um, under our belts uh, and try and get there at a reasonable time. Something else that's also worth mentioning, um, the garage where I go there is Westover Nissan in Paul. It's where I bought my leaf from. Uh, I've on the whole got nothing but good things to say about them. Uh, there was a bit of an issue around a service which um, got resolved so um, that was fine but their sales and in particular the um, the lady that is kind of the EV specialist uh, is a lady called Sally Ann if um, if you're in this area and you want an EV I highly recommend you go and speak with her but while I was there um, I spoke to um, Sally Ann about the new leaf and uh, they said best case scenario they might have some of the demos back end of December but it's probably gonna be and they're expecting January before they get any of the new ones in so um, I've uh, 
reiterated again, I definitely want a test drive. So hopefully January uh, I'll be in one and um, I can let you know what it's like. Uh, but also I've hopefully arranged a bit of a meeting on Monday so we can discuss a few options around a possible second leaf for us as a family. And um, uh, my mum is also interested, so I'm, I'm gonna make some inquiries about that. So I'll, I'll keep you updated on those. Uh, um, kind of where we are at the moment, what sort of price second-hand ones are going for, if there's any new ones left, and um, just get a bit, a bit of a better idea, really. Right, time to get packing. Right, I think that's everything packed. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the last bits, i.e. computer, so I can um, uh, upload some videos while I'm away, and um, I'll see you at the next stop. Right, well, we've had to stop early. Uh, there was yeah. desperate toilet stops required. Um, Wait, and we're at Fleet, which is, if I was in the Leaf, this is exactly where we would have stopped. Um, it, it's, a, it's that area where that? we would have needed charging. What does that do? That starts the car and stops the car. Uh, so, yeah, we haven't really benefited any at all. Uh, no, not at the moment. So this car is, you know, it's not bad. I have to say, uh, I've been well looked after. It is brand new. Um, it done, I think, 200 miles. So um, we're gonna put the bulk of it on now over the next few days. And um, you know, it drives like a new car. It's a shame you've got to use a gear stick. Um, and it's a shame that there's, it hasn't got that like that adaptive cruise control like um, in the Ionic when I test drove that and like there's going to be in the new Leaf. Uh, it would make things so much easier because I have to say I'm very tired. Um, the traffic's heavy, it's getting dark and um, it's becoming, you know, you really have to concentrate and um, I'll be honest, I just want to get there in one piece uh, nice and safe. So that would really help. Second stop, but we're just off the A1 now. M25 didn't let us down, it never does. Um, of some sort of accident uh, and quite a long hold up. So we're a bit behind time, but um, yeah, it's two stops now we've had. So both where I would have charged anyway, uh, let's hope we can avoid the third stop because that's what would have taken us over time. But um, about another hour and a half to go. Well, there you go, we've arrived. Um, 230 miles, taking us just over five hours. We um, hit traffic, uh, we had accidents, not ourselves, but we had to um, get through them. Uh, the A1 was shut, so we've had to come all the way around. So it, um, it does feel like the journey's gone on forever. And I have to say, uh, as I thought I would be pleased that we got this um, car from Nissan, uh, I really am, because um, to put sort of an hour and a half to two hours of charging on top of that would have really probably been the straw that broke the camel's back if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, we were a little bit fraught when we got here, but kids are in bed now, car's unpacked, uh, there's a drink being poured for me, so um, it's time to relax now. And um, uh, hopefully it's given you an insight into the um, kind of how Nissan allow you to uh, borrow a car uh, if you've got a Leaf and um, those rare occasions when it can be useful. I think kind of what it's done for me today is cemented the fact that if I had an EV that could do 150 miles, motorway miles, uh, I really wouldn't need any other car. I, I certainly wouldn't want to do any more than 150 miles in uh, one hit. So um, yeah, that would have got us here today with one stop. We did two, uh, so there would have been no issues whatsoever. So um, you know, let's, um, so the future will be bright, you know, with 150 to 200 mile, um, sort of mid-range affordable EVs on the horizon. But um, for now, uh, you know, I am where I am. Uh, this has done its job for today. It's, um, you know, a brand new car. It's been very pleasant. Uh, it is gonna cost me uh, probably a tank and a half of diesel. I'll certainly, I'll update you at the end how much that's all cost. But um, yeah, I'm off for a drink now. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed today's vlog. If you have, remember to like and share. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon. Take care.